Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will solve the premium user problem without having premium account in lit code. So this is the problem meeting room two is for the premium user. If you don't have premium account, you can't solve on lit code. But I found this problem is freely available here in this website lint code and my personal <coughs> opinion is that I am feeling this website is also very good to practice the data structure and algorithmic problem and this website also has most of the lit code problem and other problem as well and the extra feature in this uh, website is if you go into the IDE you can set the time schedule here so that you can count down your uh, coding time how much time it takes to solve the problem so let's jump over the problem over here so given an array of meeting time intervals consisting of the start and end times s1 s1 or even like that or s2 e2 and so on up to si ei where every time s of i is less than e of i so start time of meeting is always less than the end time of the meeting find the minimum number of conference rooms required to allocate all the meeting so for example here the one meeting will start at time 0 and it will run till 30 another will it needs to start at 5 to 10 then this will takes one conference room for this meeting we need another conference so this will meeting third meeting will start at 15 so at that time this meeting will be over so we can do this meeting into the this same conference room so hence the minimum Mom conference room required to allocate these three meeting is two so this is the problem so how we will solve this problem so first of all we have we will have the array of intervals like a start so first we have 0 30 second we have uh, the 5 and end at 10 and the third meeting is the starting at 15 and ending at 20 so let's add another meeting which is uh, starting at uh, uh, 7 and ending at 12 and there is another meeting which is starting at uh, 25 and ending at 30. So right now 5 meetings so in worst case we can take the 5 um, conference rooms and that is the answer but we have to find out the minimum conference room required to allocate schedule these five meetings so first of all what we will do as we solve many interval related problems so this is not uh, different than them this is also the same falls into this we will solve sort the intervals based on their start time of the meeting so first if we sort this so this is 0 correct then 5 is correct but this is 15 and this is 7 so this will come here so the 0 30 first meeting and then second will be 5 10 after sorting i am writing this then 7 12 and uh, <coughs> 7 12 and the th fourth one will be the 15 15 20 and the last will be 25 30 25 and 30 so this is after sorting based on the start time of the meetings so this is our all the intervals now what we will do so for uh, the first meeting itself if we start we need a one conference room so we will take the one meeting room let's say so we will take a array meeting rooms like these are the five let's say in worst came these are the array of rooms let's say first we will schedule this and this room is busy till 30 time now second is starting on five so we can't allocate here so then we need to fill this meeting and this will be busy till the 10 now the third is at 7 so these two already busy so this will be go is here and this will be busy till 12 so now the 15 at 15 these both meeting room will be available because the 10 and 12 is less than the 15 so we will allocate any of the room so this will be let's say till go 20 another we got 25 to 30 then this meeting room is available so this will till go in 30 so in worst case we need the minimum three meeting room to schedule these five meetings so this is the way so how we will check the meeting so if you see this array is one of the data structure which give us the time 
and we of the minimally sorted like we need always the, uh, at the end of the meeting time so that we will compare the next meeting if the peak of that time in that uh, already our scheduled meeting rooms like allocated one is less than or e less than like the start time of the new meeting is greater than or equals to the peak of that then we can remove this peak meeting because this meeting is over so we will use a data structure is heap data structure or the priority queue implementation in java library so so first we will start from here we will add this 30 so this will have 30 the priority queue of our minimum right now the second will come the start of second is not less than so it's greater than then we will add the 10 into there and we will got 12 12 is also like 7 of the 10 is not so then we will add another 12 over here now we will get the this so every time when we are adding this interval we will count room plus plus like we will keep a one variable the minimum room needed and we will keep add one whenever we can't pull the uh, we can't use the already existing allocated room so then now in case of this 15 is this peak value is great 15 is greater than or equal to this then we can pull out this so 50 this meeting can we happen in the room where the this meeting is happened uh, 5 to 10 months so we will pull out and add this and in that case we will not add the room plus plus so i hope you got the approach idea pause the video and implement code yourself first so let's now implement the code so for the coding part we need to first sort the array so we using collection dot sort method we will sort the array so this is our intervals list so list and then let's say two interval we got a and b then we will sort integer dot compare uh, a dot start and v dot start so this will sort the a list based on the start of the intervals now we need a priority queue of data type integer we will just add the end time of the, our meeting so this is let it call pq new priority queue now we will also take a variable room which is like rooms required initialize from zero now iterate through all the intervals so intervals so the interval 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 in intervals now we will first check if our pq is not empty if it is not empty so this will be if not empty and the current interval dot start is greater than or equal to pq dot peak if it is the case then we will just uh, pq dot poll poll that meeting the already one and else case we will just increment the room plus plus in the end we will add every time the end of the current meeting in our pq so this will we will add uh, interval dot end time of the current meeting after processing all the interval we will return the number of minimum room required which is this so let us compile the code if it is working so for this we need minimum two room and it is working let us test our test case custom test case over here so for this we will give the another meeting 7 to 12 and the another meeting is from 25 to 30 so we should need here minimum three room let's see if it is works then we can submit confidence enough like our solution will work so it's working now we can submit the code over here and it is accepted now what is the time complexity as you can see here we sorted our list so this will take n log n time and the space complexity in worst case can also go often like this is we are storing if all are independent and this will go fill the all the interval in our priority so if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe